Hey everyone, Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, here with you today to talk about energy. This is a topic that I talk about a lot. That's because so many people complain about feeling sluggish and maybe you just don't have the giddy up and go that you feel like you used to. And so you're looking for different nutrients to support your energy throughout the day. Maybe you get to work and halfway through your work day, you're feeling like you're dragging. Well, first, we always have to think about the foods that you're eating. Because remember, we can have food fatigue. And if you are following a standard American diet, the likelihood that you have food fatigue is probably pretty good. So eating good, healthy foods. So adherence to a Mediterranean diet definitely is going to be beneficial at that cellular level when it comes to natural energy production. So that's important. And then also staying physically active. And this doesn't mean that you have to go out and run miles and miles every day, but it certainly would be beneficial at least to take a nice walk around the block. The weather's finally nice in most areas. So definitely get out there and just take a walk and enjoy the fresh air. This is always very important when we think about cellular energy production. And then we have to also consider, why is it that you're sluggish? Is it stress? And is it stress coming from work? Is it stress coming from family? Is it stress because maybe you have an illness or an ailment that is basically sucking away your energy stores? So trying to get to the root of your stress and modulate that is obviously very, very important. And sometimes stressors are out of our control. And in those situations, then we want to make sure that we definitely have nutrients on board that at least help to support the adrenal glands in terms of the modulation of that stress throughout the day. But you can also look at other factors as to why you may feel that sluggishness. So many people suffer from things like fibromyalgia, hypothyroidism. Um, we certainly know that these are key areas as to why people have more of that sluggishness throughout the day. So if you do have those concerns, I definitely encourage you to make sure that you're going in, you're seeing your physician, you're having regular blood work done so you can monitor and make sure that your levels are where they should be, especially when we think about thyroid. Um, for people who are even taking thyroid hormone treatment, so when you're Synthroid or Levothyroxine, for example, it may be that the dose that you're on is maybe not as effective as it once used to be and your doctor may have to adjust that. So having your hormone levels tested, so definitely a full thyroid panel, including free T, free um, T4, free T3, uh, reverse T3 is also a good option, and of course TSH. And then you can also look at, is it your sex hormones in both men and women? This could be a reason for feeling sluggish. So definitely having things tested like DHEA. If your DHEA sulfate levels are low, this could be a reason as to why you feel like you have a lot more drag throughout the day. Are you not sleeping well? Is it a potential that maybe your melatonin levels have been knocked out because of a medication that you're on? Maybe you're on a beta blocker for high blood pressure and this is disrupting your sleep, which is not allowing you to have good night rest and then you feel sluggish in the morning. So there's a lot of different reasons as to why people feel like they're just kind of dragging. So trying to, number one, figure out your root cause is always the most important thing. And then look and see what's exacerbating that. Is it the foods that I've been eating every day? Is that making my symptoms worse? And then what can I be doing? So, you know, cleaning up the diet, staying physically active, and hey, even if you're not into walking or running or going to the gym to work out, find something that you like to do that gets you up and moving. So maybe you turn on your radio and you move about to the, to the music, whatever you need to do. You just have to try and get a little bit of physical activity into your daily routine. This really, really helps in terms of that cellular energy because it makes all of the different biochemical pathways in the body start to work. Now, when we think about different supplements that you can be considering, I want to focus in on two. We have our energy HX, we have our true energy. And the reason why I wanted to kind of pull the two together is for some people, maybe they like to have a powder that they can just take a little packet, throw it into your bag when you leave for the morning, and you can mix that up with a little bit of water. Six to eight ounces is usually good, and you have this very tasty, healthy little drink that is packed with power nutrients to enhance cellular energy production. Things such as rhodiola, which is one of my favorites, 
when it comes to being an adrenal adaptogenic herb. So remember when we said that, that stress issue that plays a role in just sucking away your energy. We know that rhodiola is very beneficial when it comes to helping the adrenal glands better respond to different variations, fluctuations in your cortisol levels, which is your primary stress hormone. So we know that. But we also know that rhodiola is very beneficial when it comes to cell energy production, which is key. And then this is blended with ginseng. And we know that ginseng is kind of this wonder herb that's been around for so long, but it's been studied across the spectrum when it comes to all of its many different health benefits. We know it's really wonderful for um, its immunomodulatory effects, so it's for enhancing your immune system. We know it's wonderful for easing inflammation. It targets those main inflammatory pathways in the body. But we also know that it is beneficial when the cardiovascular system. And so when we look at helping to support healthy blood pressure and the endothelial function and with nitric oxide release, so oftentimes if we're getting better blood flow and oxygenation and we have the power of those antioxidants to fend off oxidative stress and free radicals, this also can help with cell energy production. So this is why the true energy is so wonderful. Plus it has another little added nutrient, which is theanine. And that is that powerful amino acid that is derived basically just from green tea is the, the main source that you'll find theanine. We know theanine does wonderful things, not only in terms of supporting healthy GABA production in the body, which is our calming neurotransmitter, but it also is very, very beneficial as an antioxidant to once again fend off oxidative stress and free radicals. Then we look at the energy HX. This is going to be capsules. What is contained in this? Once again, we fall back to ginseng, because we know ginseng does all of these wonderful things. And this is partnered up with ubiquinol, aka coenzyme Q10. And so the CoQ10 in its reduced antioxidant form is known as ubiquinol. So when we partner these two things up, the ubiquinol plus ginseng, it is really this wonderful way to really supercharge at that cell level your ATP production, which is adenosine triphosphate. So these are the two little things that I wanted to talk to you about today. So if you feel like you're dragging, you feel like you're sluggish, first and foremost, change your diet. Secondly, make sure that you have addressed any core root issues. So if it's thyroid, um, if it's declining hormone production, whether that be DHEA, if your estrogen levels, your testosterone levels are out of whack, definitely want to get to the bottom of that. Always want to find the root cause. And then we like to add in these wonderful nutrients, Energy HX capsule, or you can do the True Energy packets. And this is a really great way for you to enhance your energy production throughout the day, and at the same time, really address those underlying issues, such as an overactive adrenal that's kicking out too much cortisol. So if you're using that True Energy, you also get that added benefit of that adrenal adaptogenic herb having the rhodiola in it. So certainly check it out on our website, invitehealth.com. I will be back with you in a few more days to talk about more wonderful nutrients available at Invite Health. Thank you.